And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Take No Prisoners. Welcome to a bonus... Welcome to a bonus video. And I misspoke there right at the start. That's a good start for a bonus video. Yes, uh, my Let's Play is over now. But I still wanted to show you some things. Um, here at Port Munitions Storage Facility there are a few things that I missed and I enabled the God mode. So I actually do not have to pay attention to these guys. The first thing that I wanted to show you concerns this. Um, this. These boxes here that obviously are put there to provide access to that grate. And I suspected during my let's play that there should be a secret there, and there actually is a secret. Um, you just have to destroy this thing. Hey, voila. I don't know why I failed to destroy this earlier, but for some reason I didn't. Well, I did. Well, I failed. That's what I want to say. Okay. And this brings us to this area. So I wanted to show you this, and I wanted to show you also a very interesting cheat. Oops. Um, a cheat with which you can make turn. Um, let me destroy this. Kill this rat before. Moving on. Okay. I want to show you a cheat with which you can turn techno prisoners into a first person shooter. Okay, you might. No, ma no, da, 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 da. Now you might ask, why on earth would you want to turn techno prisoners, which. One of its selling given and one of its selling points is that it's a top-down shooter, which is quite unusual. Why would you want to turn this into a first-person shooter? The answer is of course because blah, because you can. And how you do with this? You bring up the console. So if Tilda brings down this menu, then shift Tilda brings down the console. And I apologize to you that you cannot read these letters, probably, that's some strange... Probably uh, due to my graphic graphics card. Anyway, you bring down the console and then you type in plus, so the, the letter plus, and then 6DOF, so plus 6 degrees of freedom. And that turns the game into first person mode. You notice that you still can't see your weapons. The reason for this is that um, there are actually no weapon models, but you can still shoot them. Uh, and you will also notice that the enemies are still top down. And the reason for this is, of course, the same namely, that there are these enemies are only 2D sprites. So the game cannot possibly show the enemy uh, in a different... Uh, it can only show it them to you top down. Okay. Let's change the perspective back again. So this is minus 6 DOF. Yeah, and another strange... Um, Another effect of this um, 6 DOF cheat is that it makes the enemies um, passive. As you can see, there's a blue magnite. So this, uh, going through this ventilation shaft lets you, allows you to go into this room, which was the room for which we missed the key. And I suspected that I just missed the key, but in fact you do not do not find the key in this area, just have to destroy the ventilation shaft and then you get to this area. And then there's a magnite that you normally have to fight. Uh, and of course that is not so easy if you, if you don't have the proper weapons. Okay, I think the most effective is the assault rifle. Okay, let's see how the shotgun... Okay, the shotgun also works. Then you get to this area, which has the laser, uh, the laser rifle, which has the Gauss gun, 
and which has the assault rifle. And since the Magnite carries a flamethrower, you also get the flamethrower. So very early on in the game you can get most weapons actually and there's even a charge station for the PTP cannon. Um, yeah, they just destroyed something. So this is... So this solves that uh, mystery. Yes, and I should probably add that, okay, regarding this cheat, that I didn't find this out myself. I found this cheat on a website. Um, I put a link to this in, this in the description. Um, so I found, it, I found this on some website. Interestingly enough, you cannot find this cheat on the in the walkthrough. The uniquely determined walkthrough of techno prisoners, which exists on the internet by Daedalus, I think, or on one of these cheat, cheat sites, um, you actually can... I found this cheat only on this one site, again, which I will link to in the, in the description, so I just wanted to um, tell you that it's not my... I didn't come up with this myself. Okay. Yeah, and you also... You will notice that there's no sky here in Techno Prisoners since you only ever see the world from top down, there's no need to have a sky. And the second thing that I wanted to show you concerns not this area, concerns also not this area, but probably concerns uh, this area. Yes, there's an area with. Um, there was an area with uh, with trash and I destroyed it and this reveals that there's a sewer access there and I will disable momentarily the uh, first person sheet. Okay, now I'll re-enable it. So this brings you to a little sewer passage. Now interestingly enough you can actually get to this sewer passage also via the sewers well wouldn't you know but this of course has the interesting effect that you can basically access all the locations in techno prisoners just via the sewers so if you know how to navigate the sewers very well if you can memorize the layout of the sewer level map of waste treatment plant number four which I can't by the way then Completing this game is very easy, should be at least very easy. Of course you still have to do the various things like enabling, uh, enabling the pump at um, um, Hookstar Nuclear Works and so on. But you can get around faster, okay. And yeah. So this um, provides you an access to, to. So the sewer provides you an access to this level. And you can exit here. Um, there's a breakable wall there, which you can destroy just with the laser sword. And if you do so, then you end up in this area. You know, the area where I. Yeah, and I just picked up the um, the chain gun, this gun. You appear in this area where I died last time because I touched this. Uh, not last time, but in one of the earlier videos. So we can use this also to bypass um, these lasers. Yes. Um, and again, you see that the enemies appear top down, which is a bit weird. Oh, yeah. And, um, yeah, this, this, so you can basically play this game just in first person oh, yeah. mode, however, they are, it's a bit bugged out. Um, so I'm not sure whether you can actually complete it in this stage. However, it makes some things a lot easier, like using the, the turrets 
since you can actually see while you're shooting it. Well, and of course it disables, uh, makes all the enemies pass passive, so this actually makes the game a lot easier. And it also gives it a strange, um, completely different feel. It almost feels like Half-Life. Yeah, but you can you could make a complete um, playthrough of this game just in first person mode. I don't think I will do that. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Not on my channel. Anyway. Yes, that's pretty much everything which I wanted to show you about this game. So these two secrets that I missed here, and then this cheat. Um yeah, so I hope you like this little bonus video. Thanks again to the person who found out about this sheet. Um, this first person sheet. I hope you liked my let's play of Take No Prisoners. And I hope I will see you in some other let's play. So until next time folks, until then.